Hi guys, I'm Sally I here from TDI Media and I've got another classic for you from 2006, the Motor TV series. We're into round four, it's the cadet race. Eight drivers into the last lap don't always go as Joe Byrne will remember. Don't get caught in a lift with Joe Byrne because he's probably going to tell you about this story for the rest of his life. you got to let it go, Joe. you got to let it go. Hello everybody, welcome to Three Sisters. Here's the grid positions for the first race of the day. Owen Hunter, the first of three brothers on pole, Wakefield alongside. Lewis Jones for Apollo Travel on three, Duncar for Transit Fast on four. There comes the captain, Travis Kirk, alongside William Hunter on six. And then comes Henry Hunter, the third of the three brothers on seven. Josh Fry's up from Wiltshire. Rickson was a non-starter last month. Parkin and Walsh alongside drives for Hobart. Then comes Chris Middlehurst and Joe Byrne. Byrne up from Somerset, representing RAB Alarms. Murphy represents CNM Motors, who was second in the club. Championships at Cumbria in 2005. Alongside him was Horton, then comes Ord and Hughes. McNichol is on 17, Hunston 18. Connor Llewellyn is on 19. Danny Sweeney, the winner at round one on 20, and Ryan Burns on 21. The championship leader not here this month is away doing the national championships, as are a number of the other major contenders. We're on board with Josh Fry, cart 20. He's trailing 28, Benjamin Dunkhalf. Don't forget the numbers of the carts denote the championship positions of each driver. So the leading contender here today, this weekend, as we're on board with Fry through Turn 1, is up to third place. The leading contender here this month is Ryan Burns. He's uh, racing number four, but effectively he is the championship leader. As Wakefield sweeps through to the lead off the valley, Fry nips up the inside of Middlehurst for second. Hughes for Global Tiles there, number 10, he's through to fourth place as Fry looks up the inside for the lead and takes it from Wakefield, drops Wakefield back a spot. Josh Fry really hasn't got going in this championship. He was off through turn one, all his own work in round one, off on lap one, not his own fault in round two, and then uh, involved in incident in round three as Wakefield sweeps back into the lead. That's nice to see. Hughes has a look up the inside of Middlehurst, but no joy. Nice to see uh, Mark Wakefield fighting for the lead. It's not long since he was racing on novice plate, so battling back for the lead position will be a new experience for him and one that uh, will hopefully give him some more confidence. That is Mark uh, Pictured. So we're back on board with Fly through Turn 1. They flick left now up over the valley. Wakefield uh, loses his back end. Oh, Middlehurst has run over the back of Wakefield and Middlehurst is off as he's used. Oh, that's a real bump burner there going over the stones. Wakefield has held on to third, Hughes back to sixth, Middlehurst mid-pack, Fry comes towards us, he's leading, Burn is second, they're followed by Packland Walsh, Wakefield still there, Horton, Hughes, Orden Llewellyn were in the mix and 33 was Owen Hunter, that's 19, Packen and Walsh, Piers Packen and Walsh driving for Hobart and 17 is Joe Burn up from Somerset. Further round the lap, it's 13, Jordan Horton through to third place. Hughes is through to fourth and four, Ryan Burns is in the mix as well. Then comes Rickson, 22. Over the valley one more time, Fry leads from Burn, then Horton through to third. This is a good drive by Jordan Horton. It's a few drivers this month having a good run here. 18 on the back of that group there, Middlehurst involved in that incident earlier as Hughes goes up the inside of Horton for a place. He does, Hughes onto the podium, he's up to third place. Jordan Horton down to fourth place. There's Burns, fourth factor leader, championship leader, 22 with Scott Rickson. This is a little static camera buried in the ground looking down uh, Rogerson's as the cart stream past. Still Fry that leads, but uh, that lead has been closed down now by Joe Byrne, number 17. We've had a, a comfortable leader in each of the first three rounds, but these cadet carts do not run comfortably on their own out front. They can soon be hunted down by a pack of carts. And in fact, Byrne has hunted uh, Fry down on his own, so it's Byrne, 17, through to the lead as... Uh, Fry pushes him along, you see he's putting his nose cone on the rear bumper of Burn, and then they get the two engines working together, pushing each other along, improving the slipstream effect, and uh, Hughes is about to make that a three-cart train. In fact, there's other carts lining up behind as well, so uh, whereas we had three or four carts battling for the win in the first three rounds, this one looks like it could be a seven or eight-cart battle. Back on board with Fry as they come through Luna Bend. Left-hander turns right now, out into the double apex. Hughes looking up the inside of Fry. Looks like he's made that stick. He has. They come out onto the main straight. These carts will do 55 miles an hour down here at the end of the straight. We're on board with Fry again. Orders just put in the fastest lap of the race. 52.022. Bradley Orden, another driver 
having his best race of the season so far. Joe Byrne, though, is out front. Again, this is his best result. He's had a 25th and 11th and a 16th of the first three rounds, but he's leading this one so far. Back on board with Fry's running wide there. That's going to allow the uh, pack through the inside. He's uh, made a mistake. He's trying to get back in. Where is he going to filter back? He filters back in in fifth place. So Fry drops to fifth. We've got an eight-cart train as we come through turn one this time. What a fantastic race this is. Burns still leads it, Ryan Burns is through to second, Horton's third, then comes Hughes, one board with Fry again, they're followed by Llewellyn, Sweeney and Ord, they're the top eight, and uh, Jacob Hunstone trying to buy a ticket on this train, but at the moment he's 20 metres off with work to do, that's uh, the 10 cart of Luke Hughes, second at round one, driving for global tiles, going to need to increase the size of that stitching if we're going to read it, uh, Mr Hughes, the lead pack streamed down Rogerson's one more time, Ryan Burns looks for the lead, but Joe Byrne holds on as Hughes goes up the inside of Horton for third. Fry goes with him. Llewellyn goes with Fry and Sweeney goes with Llewellyn. Horton's misery piled on as he drops from third to seventh. Well, Ben, we spoke about this uh, race earlier on. With so many of the front runners away this weekend from this cadet class, we were slightly worried that this race was going to be an anti-climax compared to previous events. But look at that, nine carts running nose to tail as they come past me down the valley. And it's a fantastic race at the front. Yeah, Jacob Hunstone has become the ninth carriage in the train. Bradley Ord, 11 there, having a great run. 22nd, 8th and 11th, his best result so far. But he's running right the mix here with this lead pack. Is something Ian Blair mentioned when I was up in Cumbria. He said there was a definite improvement in performance from some of the less experienced drivers across all classes. And this is a great example. Joe Byrne leading, Jordan Horton and Bradley Ord also in the mix. And they've not shown anything like this sort of performance in the first three rounds. But you see the leader there, Byrne, has made a big mistake. Defending in the first part of Luna, it's running him over to the right-hand curb, scrubbing off a lot of speed, and that's allowed Hughes up the inside for the lead spot. Uh, Byrne has held on to second, though there's Fry in third. Sweeney the winner at round one, number five, he's up to fourth place. Four is Ryan Burns, that's 13. Jordan Horton, five novice races, three wins, second twice. Ninth at round one, 13th at round two, 21st at round three is an example of one driver who's putting in a big performance this month as we see a warning flag for David McNichols. Sam? Alan, I'm here with Nicky Fry, Josh's mum. Unfortunate round last month, but it looks like Josh is making up for it today. He's currently lying second and it's looking like he's going to take the win. Yeah, he's going really, really well. He had a really good day's testing yesterday and this morning he's been going well too. So we're just going to hope for a win. Oh, somebody called Scotty. Captain Kirk needs warp speed and hasn't even got impulse power at the moment. The chain's off. You know what? Travis Kirk couldn't buy any luck at the moment. If Tesco's had luck on sale at a bargain price, he'd be first in the queue. I need to find out it was bad luck. Ben. Alan, I don't think we've heard very much about Joe Byrne in this championship so far, but he's driving a textbook race out front, defending it exactly where he should, but not too much to get pushed off. We're into the last lap. It's still Joe Byrne that leads it from Fry Sweeney and Hughes. These four have got three cart lengths over Ryan Burns. Joe Byrne has run wide there, coming onto the valley. There's contact from behind. Oh, and he's off. Commentators curse for Byrne. Fry still leads it, then Sweeney winner at round one. Through to second place, Hughes is third. Joe Byrne, the unlucky Joe Byrne, off. Here's the replay in set. You can just see a little bit of contact there. He had run wide coming onto the valley, and momentum lost means that uh, the momentum gained by Fry just carried him into the back of Joe Byrne's cart. And unfortunately, Joe Byrne has gone. Still Fry that leads coming into Luna for the first time, scrapping for positions here. Seven is Llewellyn, 13, Horton. Uh, Hughes has dropped back to fourth place. Slipped up the inside is Ryan Burns. I think Hughes is going to have that back, but it's Fry that's going to take it. Fry wins, Sweeney second. It's Hughes through to third place. Nice cut back there coming off the final turn. Drops Ryan Burns back to fourth, but what an absolute cracker that was. The cadets once more show why karting is the pick of the bunch when it comes to four-wheeled motorsport. Let's check the official results as we see the drivers make their way into Park Ferme. Josh Fry has held on. Danny Sweeney and Luke Hughes join him on the podium. Ryan Burns through to fourth. He will have the championship lead. Connor Llewellyn finishes fifth, followed by Jordan Horton, Jacob Huntstone, Bradley Ord's fastest lap, 52.022, the fastest lap of the race. And then we're followed in by David McNichol in ninth, and the very, very unlucky Joe Byrne, for so long the leader, in tenth place. Ryan Burns has a five-point championship lead over Danny Sweeney, who leads Connor Llewellyn by four. Luke Hughes is up to fourth. Jacob Hunstone back into fifth place. Liam Kelly, former championship leader, not racing this month, but still there in sixth. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> 